All right, so we have another one of these, uh, what would you call them, gift sets or, or whatever, a box with uh, a glass and some booze inside it. So this is uh, this is Thatcher's, what cider is supposed to taste like. Who decides what cider is supposed to taste like? I don't know. Um, so we've got Thatcher's Haze there, cloudy Somerset cider. I love the artwork on the bottle. Uh, I like the artwork on this as well, especially kind of like the copper foil. Um, so this is Thatcher's Rascal, and you can see the C there is uh, it's like a part of the moon with a fox there, Somerset cider. We've got this nice glass as well, so let's have a look at the rest of the box. So family cider makers since 1904, Somerset Myrtle My Farm, crafted over four generations. And uh, there's the top there. We'll look at the bomb. Not really anything on there. Best before end 2021. So yeah, I've got some interesting stuff on the back here. So it's saying the apples that make our cider. And there's a lot of different apples on here. So it's saying stuff there. Type of apple. So you've got like um, some apples that are sharp, some that are sweet. Some of that are bitter sharp, some of that are bitter sweet. So I guess each of these apples are used for each of their different ciders. So they must make a lot of different ciders. There's just loads of apples on there. So these are the two ciders that are in the uh, the box. So Haze is a cloudy premium cider, crisp sweet finish. It's the uh, the Jonah Gold apple that brings a naturally cloudy appearance to this chilled cider, 4.5. And the glass is called a stemmed pine glass, and then Thatcher's Rascal. Uh, bittersweet apples, it's amber, full bodied, with roguish complexity, bitterness, smooth sweetness, 4.5%. So let's open this up. So these two bottles have already been in the freezer, chilling. This was quite expensive, it was £8. Then let's take out the glass. So I'll show this glass properly once it's filled up because then you'll be able to see it better. Um, but before I fill it up, I'll just show you what the bottom looks like. So it's got like um, a picture in the bottom there and some writing. So at the bottom of the glass there it's saying since 1904 and then it says uh, Somerset Myrtle Farm and there's a picture of an apple there. It's kind of hard to say but... So first I'm going to try this Thatcher's Haze Cloudy Cider. It looks really appealing actually the fact that it's hazy and you can see like loads of little bits inside it as well. So you might be able to see all the bits floating about inside there. Yeah, so it's just it's saying I think it's just saying the same stuff that was on the box. So let's crack this open. So I won't fill the glass up fully. Um because if I fill it up fully, that means it's just gonna take longer for me to get to the other bottle to review that one. On this a top if anyone's interested. So let's see what it smells like. It smells really sweet. Um, it's reminded me of a certain cider, but I'm not sure which. It's reminded me of cider. Um, I used to drink years and years ago in the early 90s. I think it was... Was it called Red K or something like that? I don't know, but it smells quite nice. But uh, yeah, let's see what it tastes like. I 
don't, I don't really think it tastes the same as that red K cider or, or whatever it's called, but it definitely does smell the same. It's really nice, it's really nice, really refreshing. It smells very sweet, <clears throat> and I don't like things that are very sweet, but it doesn't taste very sweet, which is good. I don't really know what I can say about it really, it's, it's just a really nice, pleasant cider. It's not sharp or anything. It does taste like a good quality cider. It just worlds apart from like the really kind of cheap nasty ciders that you can get, you know, for a few pounds in like two litre bottles. Those are good if you're poor and you want to get drunk, but other than that, um, they're not really any good. Yeah, this is, um, I'll definitely have this again. It's really nice. I love the artwork on it as well. I like the trees there with apples on them. I found them there with his tractor and the trailer, probably filled with apples. Nice bright kind of sunny background. Hmm. How's that work? Alright, so I'll just drink the rest of this and um, I can review this one and show the glass properly as well. Alright, so Thatcher's Rascal. Got some apples there that fell on the floor. So I guess maybe there's a big tree there that you, that you can't actually see. I don't know, with its branches hanging over. And that's why you've got a couple of apples there. Yeah. There's a dark shadow in the night. Um, an amber silhouette in the light of the moon. So what it's saying here is, I'm pretty sure it's different from what was being said on the box. But it's not all mischief and mayhem. Rascal is the guardian of the bittersweet red streak. Dabinet. And Trem Tremlet's apples, weird names. Um, yeah, full-bodied, complex, bit brave bitterness balanced with smooth sweetness. <coughs> Let's crack it open, shall we? And the the top on it is the same as the top on the other one. Alright, so hmm, you can't really see what's on the glass better to be honest, but let's see if this will help. Yep, that works really well actually. So it's really nice, interesting shaped glass. Kind of looks quite bulbous here, and then goes in, and then comes out again a bit. It's kind of similar, kind of a, like the top part, it's kind of similar to the last glass that I got uh, with those ales. So you can see it's got apples going all the way around which I think looks quite nice let's zoom in actually so it's quite cool how they've not used like the exact same picture of an apple all the way around like some of the apples are different from each other and it says pint there we've been quietly perfecting the magic that turns apples into cider here at my Myrtle farm for four generations Yeah, nice looking glass. So let's see what it smells like. Oh wow, that smells so different from this one. The smell is um, it's quite light, it's not a, a really sweet smell like the haze. Um, so this is what I'm drinking now. Um, kind of as the aroma is kind of, um, kind of nutty. Like kind of like a kind of nutty, a slight nutty burnt smell which is quite nice actually, but yeah let's see what it tastes like it's nice and sweet, I think there's some bitterness there Um, I guess a l maybe a little bit weak tasting 
well compared to the haze anyway um yeah i don't know it's it's just difficult to describe it's quite it's quite good though it 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 tastes as though it's a good quality cider. I don't know if I'd buy it again. I mean, it's it's absolutely fine. Don't get me wrong, but you know, um, if I can buy a different cider, which I think is a lot nicer, like this one, then it's like obviously I'm going to do that. Why would I go for a cider which isn't going to be as nice? But it's you know, it's still a nice cider. Nothing wrong with it. And I forgot to score to rate that out of ten. What would I give this out of ten? Um, I think a seven. Um, kind of m the more I drink it, the more the flavour kind of seems a bit lacking. So I'll just drink this one from the bottle, so I can give it a rating. What would I give it out of ten? I'll give this a nine out of ten. So yeah, I think a seven out of ten for this one. Let's just have another sip. Yeah, it kind of. I guess it kind of tastes a little bit watery. So yeah, a seven. I kind of almost want to give it a six, but I'll, I'll give it a seven out of ten, and eight out of ten for this. Yeah, well, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.